Okay, y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY, and I want to say hey to all our turning viewers and welcome to any new viewers. And like I do every time, I'm going to show y'all a list of what's needed for today's project, and you can also find that list on social media, which, if you follow me, the links are down below. If you want to follow me, sorry. And also, you can find that list on the community tab. So the first thing we're going to be using is these... Um, wooden ornament thing uh, pieces. I got them from Dollar Tree. Now, we're also going to be using these wooden dowel rods. I got these from Walmart and I would suggest using these because they are thick enough for the screw if you use screws. If you're not going to use screws, you can go with a smaller dowel rod. Um, we're going to be using this Antique Wax by Waverly Paint is a stain. We're going to be using some miter shears to cut the dowels. I'm going to be using a drill and a drill bit. I'll tell you what size later. And some screws. If you do not want to do that, you can use hot glue and spackle. And the reason why you'll be using spackle is because there are holes in these if you can see. And because I'm going to be using a screw, I'm going to use that hole for the screw. Alright, let's get started y'all. Alright y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make all three of these. And I'm going to show you both ways to do it. So the first thing I am going to do Sorry, y'all. Is I am going to cut the um. Well, no, I take that back. I'm sorry. It's not. It's not first thing I'm gonna do. Because I'm gonna show you both ways. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spackle one of these holes, and I'm doing that so it has time to dry, so I can show you how to glue it. Now I was just gonna. And I'm going to make all three, even though two of them is going to be with screws. I was originally just going to, um, uh, do all three with screws, but I want to show y'all, like I said, how to do it both ways. So, all right, so I'm going to let that dry. And then the next thing I'm going to be doing is. I'm going to be cutting the dowels. So, so I want to cut a total of nine pieces and I cut this off of a different prop for a different project. Well, this was what's left over after a different project and it's about the right height. It's around two and three fourths inches. So that's about the height I want. And instead of measuring each one, I can literally go and do this with the miter shears if I can get them open y'all so but like I said it's about two and three fourths and maybe two and three fourths may be a little bit smaller but shorter but that's fine and then I'm just gonna take sorry I got upside down and I'm just gonna cut it And there you go. So, um, like I said, I'm going to do that nine times, but just to double check to make sure, you can also, like I said, measure it and mark. Let me make sure I marked it in the right spot, y'all. I really don't want them longer. Yep, that's the right spot. So that is another way to do it. Just so y'all know. I remember closing me back, but whatever. I was just double checking. And see, so I got three. 
and I'm going to need to make six more. And it's simple to do. Like I said, you can measure each one with the actual um, tape measure. It's fine. But I just want to... I tend to do things the way I like to do them. And sometimes it works for people. Sometimes it doesn't. So don't feel bad if it doesn't work for you. And also, when you get to the end, don't throw that little piece away because you can always use it for something else. It's okay, it landed somewhere. So what I got? One, two, three, four, five. So that means I gotta do four more. And this is just well, I'm just beating a bad dead horse now. Try to do as quick as I can, so I need three more. Just remember, do this whatever way y'all think is easiest for y'all. This is the way I like doing it. We continue to beat that dead horse. So the next thing I'm going to do, now that I have these all cut out, is I'm going to use my stain to stain it. And I'm going to do the same thing I did the last time. I'm going to paint it on there. And then I will rub some of it off and then I'll sand some more off. Like I said, sorry, like I said, this is the way I know to do it and it comes out looking good. And I'm sure there are more ways to do it. And I'd love to hear it if anybody wants to do it. I still want to try the wet paper towel. But it's just not working right now for me. I know there's a way to add water to it and do it. I just, I gotta play with it and figure it out. But this is the way I'm gonna do it. a lot of fun making my candle holder I guess you call it and that's what gave me the idea to do this it's basically just another version of the same thing it's just I thought they were really cool and I wanted to show you another way to do it this is a smaller scale but it's fun so I do eventually want to get better at working with stains, but until then, I'm going to do it the way I know works. It's all, everything is a learning process. Even if you've done it a hundred times and think you've got the best way, someone might have a better way to do something. And it never hurts to do that. Alright, so. As you can see, I got both sides painted. Now I'm going to do what I did last time. And I'm going to take and I'm going to rub some of that off. And then we'll go from there after it dries.
So, I'm gonna set it down, let it dry, and go on to the next ones. All right, now I'm gonna move on to my legs. This is what these are. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paint these two. Now, if you don't wanna do a stain, by the way, there is the option of doing just painting it. I really wouldn't recommend leaving them the color they are because they are two different colors, but if that doesn't bother you, that is an option too. I mean, the whole point of this is do it how you like it, so if that is something you like, then I would suggest going for it. Now, they don't have to be perfectly matched because they're probably not going to be perfectly matched. But I am, like I said, I'm going to sand this down so it might end up looking more like this. But we'll, we'll see when we get there. And you just do all nine legs. And I'm doing both ends because I'm not sure which side's going to get attached to the actual top, so it doesn't hurt to do both ends. That way if you decide the other end, it's not the natural color, so we will go from there. And see what we get done. And if you look, you see how nice that is a stain and how dark that is? That's because this has been cut, so it's um, grainy, I guess. It's not the smooth this is. It's got texture to it. Alright, as you can see, they've all been dyed, oops, or stained, sure, sorry, and um, once they dry, I will work on the next step, and I will also make sure that this one is ready to go for this, for the rest of it, once the spackles dry, of course, once the spackle dries, you do have to sand it I'm sorry so once that's done I will get this ready and prepped for the next step all right y'all now that they're dry I'm gonna of course sand them and get some of the color off I don't want them too dark. I want to be able to see the um, rings. the wood grain. And once I'm happy with it, move on to the next part. <laughs> this 
is not easy. <laughs> I might need a new um, sandpaper. This does two things. It helps lighten it and it also sands the wood you're working with. Okay, now that I've prepped everything and I'm ready for the next step, I'm going to get my drill bit and, well, first I gotta figure out the screws and I think this, this will be enough hanging over to go into the, um, leg, sorry, so I'm gonna go with this screw. I'm not 100% sure what size it is. But I want to say it's um, 3 4 inch. Now the drill bit I'm going to use is a 5 64. I don't know. I don't know anything about this. I just go for what looks about right. So I'm going to take and I am going to put my drill bit into my drill. Again, you do not have to do this if you don't want to. You can simply glue it on there. But I like to add it. And I went ahead, and it's about halfway, but half of a half an inch, so about a fourth. So. I measured it already in the two spots I want to do. So now I'm just gonna. I wish I had a place to set this down to make this easier, but I don't. Just gonna drill my holes. You probably can't see, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did it in two spots because I already have the one hole. Now I will say this. I forgot to tell y'all when I finished my coat I went ahead and I coated the legs a second time just to make sure they were close to the same color as the thing the um top now I wanna drill in the here just so that it has a um a start Apparently I didn't get it as tight as I thought I did. Y'all, I don't like messing with drills. I'm always scared I'm gonna break the um, drill bit.
Now, I don't have to do this to three of them because on one of them I am not screwing. I'm just going to glue to show y'all. So now that that is done, I'm going to start screwing. So what I tend to do when I do the screwing, I don't know how I got nine, I only need six. Apparently I can't count. Is what I tend to do is I start here. Sorry, I'm trying to get it all the way through. And I make sure it goes through the bottom so it's gonna be a minute and that makes it easier for me to line up the holes giving me technical difficulties. I might have to go get my other screwdriver. <laughs> I am going to go get my other screwdriver, but give me a second. I can put this in for now so I don't lose them. This one's easier because it's a bigger hole. Alright, so let me get these in. Sorry, y'all. I don't have my head attached to me. I'd have problems here. I could, I guess I could have made the hole bigger, but you really don't need to. It just got to be able to catch the screw. I'm sorry. And I don't tend to want to make it too big for fear that the screw um, will be too loose because I ended up making it too big. All right, give me a second. I'll be right back. All right, I went and got this because it's bigger and hopefully it'll stay on there like it should. Yes, that's working better. And like I said, I just want to go through the bottom. Oops. Slipped out of my hand, y'all. And I'm just going to bring it down, like I said, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to fuck it. I would go the next step up, y'all, with the drill just to see if it works. So, three thirty-two, three thirty-two. 
I don't know how to say it. I suck at saying fractions, but 3 over 32. So I would try that. So now that I got that, I'm going to move on to the legs, which as you can see, as you remember, I drilled. So I'm just going to take and put the little hole where this goes. a little bit more come out I wish I had the stuff that uh you know <laughs> make this easier to clamp and stuff but I don't so I tend to just do this the best way I can figure out y'all one day I might have those tools needed for this project better I can get it in there. Let me try this again. Because I'm technically going to be using I'm sorry y'all. This is so I want to say embarrassing. There we go. One down, two to go. Hold on a second. Moving on to the next one. To see if I can do this one any easier. I'm sorry, y'all. This should not be this hard. Let me start off with this one. I really am going to have to get the stuff one day. this now that I got a leg on there already. Hold on. <laughs> right now for the last one. We're going to get it on there. One way or another we're going to get this on here. with this and I don't understand why y'all these closer than I meant to but it's fine it works okay there's that table let's see if I get this one better <laughs> all right this is working easier now that I 
know what I can do. Okay, so what I did was I screwed it all the way down to the flush to the base. And now I'm just taking and hand screwing the legs on there. And that seems to be working pretty good. So I'm happy with that solution. This one doesn't work because this one's the big one. All right. Except for this one because this hole is a little bit bigger. So I have to go back and screw. Okay, I wasn't sure about that once it got tough. And if you're worried about it coming loose, you can always add glue to it just to make sure. But like I said, I didn't want to fill that hole just to make another hole. So that's why I went with that one. that I think they look good so now I'm just gonna have to the next step is to do the gluing of the pieces on there and then we'll be done with this all right so this is like super easy to do okay because literally all you're gonna be doing is just adding the glue and sticking it and holding it to give it a chance to dry and this is hot glue, so it shouldn't take too long to dry. And Lily, there you go. Look how easy that was, and it come out looking great. And like I said, if you don't want the screws, or you don't want to do that without the screws it looks good with the screws it looks good and I am so happy with how they came out Ta-da! <laughs> alright so if you enjoyed this video please 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 like share subscribe and comment because it does help my channel grow and I had so much fun making these I fell in love with them before they before I even made them as soon as I had the concept I fell in love with them I think they came out looking great they don't have to be perfect the whole point of this is to be imperfect as you can see the legs aren't perfect on this but it doesn't matter because they look great all right I will see y'all next time bye